I failed big and I failed very publicly and I failed at marriage. There was some infidelity in the relationship or there's something that transpired. Was it harder for you to sit down and have a conversation and to tell her that something had happened outside of the relationship or losing the finals? Way harder to have a conversation with my now wife. I'm gonna need y'all to hop on this new drama real quick because the streets are saying that Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade are headed for divorce any day now. The drama is juicier than that because Gabrielle is now coming out to expose Dwayne for cheating on her. And it turns out that Dwayne has been slinging it all across town and cheating with half the women in Hollywood. This drama is a hot mess because y'all won't believe the wild allegations that Gabrielle is now making. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and it was a bunch of old and young boys back there all naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking about Boosie. Yeah, now Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade pulling a Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith on us. It's crazy how we've been seeing all the perfect Hollywood marriages and relationships break up in 2023 and coming to realize that things aren't always as great on the inside as we think they are. Will and Jada were the first to prove this and it looks like Gabrielle and Dwayne are about to follow in their messy little footsteps. And girl, this story is hella messy. Gabrielle and Dwayne are one of Hollywood's biggest couples and a lot of people expected them to have a fairy tale ending and live happily ever after as husband and wife. But even though we love them together doesn't mean that we can't admit that there were a couple of weird things in their marriage that kind of earned them the side eye over the years that they were together. So let's rewind to 2007 when Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union first crossed paths. Back then, life was a bit complicated in the romance department for both of them. Gabrielle was in a relationship and Dwayne was married to his high school sweetheart, Savon Funches. But here's where it gets interesting. Shortly after Gabrielle ended her relationship, D-Wade decided to call it quits with his marriage to Savon. Of course, the rumor mill went into overdrive, suggesting that they might have had a thing going on while they were still involved with other people. But they both consistently denied any hanky-panky during these relationships. Dwayne has been pretty clear that Gabrielle wasn't a factor in his divorce, but you know a lot of folks never quite bought Dwayne's whole Gabrielle had nothing to do with the divorce story. It seemed like a bit of a face-saving move, if you ask me. And here's the kicker. In 2010, the same year Dwayne's divorce from Savon was finalized, he and Gabrielle went public with their relationship. Coincidence? Seems pretty fishy to me. Savon, not surprisingly, wasn't having it. She believed that Dwayne and Gabrielle had a hand in the unraveling of their marriage, so she actually took legal action against them. She filed a lawsuit claiming that their relationship caused her and her kids a heap of distress. But as luck would have it, the lawsuit got tossed out and love prevailed. Well, for a while at least. Not too long after that, the whole cheating drama started. Rumors flew about Dwayne stepping out on Gabrielle with several women, including actress Lauren London. This was the first major drama in their relationship and girl, where seats were flying everywhere, proving that Dwayne was slinging it all across town, if you know what I mean. One of his side pieces actually came out and said, I too had my situation with Dwayne. Can't lie, he is great in bed, but I definitely would not take him seriously the way Gabrielle does. He sleeps with and flies bees out all the time. They like to act like they are Michelle and Barack when in reality, things are not what they seem. Every time some type of gossip comes out that they have to make an appearance to show the media how real they are. He's involved with many girls and that's to say the least. And everyone that deals with him knows this. Either Gabrielle knows this and doesn't care or she's playing dumb, which I find hard to believe. But Gabrielle and Dwayne never confirmed or denied the allegations because they were all about proving that they were perfect and the ultimate power couple. But then came the bombshell. They split in 2013. However, just a few months later in November, they reconciled. But, hold the phone, there was a massive hiccup in their reunion story. Turns out, during their break, Dwayne became a dad with someone else. And not just anyone, but Asia Matoyer, a longtime friend of his. Now, the timing raised eyebrows. How could he have gotten someone pregnant so quickly after the split with Gabrielle? It got people speculating if Dwayne and Asia had a little something going on behind the scenes all along. I mean, given his track record with multiple infidelities, it wouldn't be a shocker if he and Asia were more than just friends during his time with Gabrielle. There were talks about how there had been a little something going on, if y'all know what I mean. And according to Dwayne, he and Gabrielle had gotten back together when he found out that Asia was pregnant with his child and he was terrified to tell her because he was again scared that she was going to leave him and they'd end up breaking up for good this time. He also claimed that telling Gabrielle was one of the hardest things he's ever had to do. The harder for you to sit down and have a conversation and to tell her that something had happened outside of the relationship or losing the finals way harder to have a conversation with 
my now wife. Gabrielle was understandably hurt over this betrayal, but she refused to speak about it publicly until a couple of months ago when she said, it should go without saying that we were not in a good place at the time that child was conceived, but we were doing much better when he finally told me about the pregnancy. To say I was devastated is to pick a word on a low shelf for convenience. There are people, strangers I will never meet, who have been upset that I have not previously talked about that trauma. I have not had words, and even after untold amounts of therapy, I am not sure I have them now. But like I said, she and Dwayne got back together after that, and they even got married a couple of months after the fact. This had people talking about how she probably knew that Dwayne was cheating on her all along, and it wasn't as ignorant as people thought she was at first. And one major thing that people found weird is that she and Dwayne barely acknowledged the child whose name is Xavier. They like to paint a picture of themselves as the perfect blended family with Dwayne's older two kids, Zair and Zaya, but it just seems like they love to pretend like Xavier doesn't even exist. But if you think that's weird, well, the marriage got 10 times worse when Gabrielle revealed in an interview that she and Dwayne split all their bills 50-50. Hard to say I'm head of household because in this household, we split everything 50-50. But in the other households that each of us have to support, it puts this, there's always this like gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work, bitch. You better work, you better work. You know, you, you gonna sleep in? Now, sharing bills is not as strange or as weird as you think because the cost of living got us normal folks splitting bills. But when it comes to these two, well, they're not exactly your everyday couple because they're millionaires. And even at that, Dwayne makes way more than Gabrielle does. Her net worth is only about $40 million compared to his $170 million, which means that he is worth more than four times what she is. So it's kind of unfair for them to go halvesies on everything when he should be paying more since he makes more. But if y'all think that's weird, well, it gets way worse than this because Dwayne had an interview where he revealed that Gabrielle was actually the one who had insisted on going 50-50 because he made a statement during an argument that rubbed her the wrong way. We decided together because I think I said one time when we was in Miami, I said something about it being my house that I paid for. Uh -oh. My wife looked at me, she was like, you will never say that to me again when it's something that we share. And so my wife was like, "That when we move to LA, I got half on it. You will never say my house again. Fans took this to mean that he made her feel very unsafe financially during the marriage and that's why she had to go above and beyond so that he could never throw his money in her face. She has even admitted to feeling anxious on some months where she didn't make a lot of money and she struggled to come up with her 50% of the bills. Child, that's just crazy and this made people feel a type of way about the marriage. However, Gabrielle defended their 50-50 decision, insisting that it made their marriage work. She said, this is both of our second marriages and we're super transparent about that. We didn't do it right. The first time around. There's another way to be more collaborative and equitable. We humble ourselves, listen, and we meet in the middle. In another interview, she said, the biggest difference between this and the last marriage will be a prenup at my insistence. When you have your own stuff, you don't need to worry about anyone else's stuff. So everyone should go into the relationship knowing I'm here for you and you're here for me. And the reality is I've never seen Dwayne balance a checkbook, so I gotta protect my stuff. It's the wave of the future. This came out to fans as she was kind of implying that Dwayne was not exactly financially responsible and it just made the situation even worse. It was clear that money was a big deal in this marriage and that it controlled everything about these two but if you think that's bad enough well it gets even messier because last year Jaguar Wright came out to reveal that Gabrielle and Dwayne love to engage in some interesting activities like throwing orgies and pool parties where they would all be nude. Moved over to the Wade house. Energy transfers, energy transfers. And I'm not saying that because I'm not saying that because of their trans daughter. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and there was a bunch of old fucking young boys back there all naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking about Boosie. But girl, things just got spicier because according to gossip blog Demois, things are very shaky between Gabrielle and Dwayne right now because Dwayne is cheating on her and Gabrielle is consistently getting hurt over this. Now, y'all know Demois doesn't get it wrong when it comes to tea like this and we actually have some evidence that they said the truth. The site said, Dwayne is very close to a woman, not Gabrielle. He was spotted getting very close to her, spoke to her very intimately while I was there for two hours. Gabrielle also has some interesting posts on her Instagram when clarity, truth, and transparency are present, there's only room for evolution. Gabrielle just posted on her Snapchat a pic of her daughter, I do anything for her peace. Child, not Dwayne getting caught slipping. According to an insider, Gabrielle seems to be at her wit's end about his behavior because she's tried her best to make Dwayne stop his affairs, but he has refused to do so. This has caused such major drama between them that Gabrielle has made up her mind to end things for her peace of mind. Plus, their daughter, Kavia, is growing up and starting to peep the things going on and the insider revealed that Gabrielle doesn't want to normalize staying with a cheating man. And the interesting thing about 
about this is the fact that fans have noticed that both Gabrielle and Dwayne have stopped wearing their wedding rings, which confirms that their marriage is, indeed, in crisis mode. Well, trust fans to give their opinions on this drama and they did not disappoint because they left comments saying, I don't feel bad for Gabrielle. She knew how trash she was to his first wife, watched him keep that lady kids from her. Instead of saying some, she took over. So women show men how to treat them by the things they choose to put up with. He knew from the jump that she wanted him more than she respected herself by the way they initially got together. There were so many red flags in the relationship. If a man who is supposed to love you is so quick to get with another woman and impregnate her while you were on a break? That says it all. And yeah, to be honest, I don't feel bad for her at all because she was the one who disrespected his ex-wife about their son. And also too, she was saying she cheated on her ex multiple times, but that's just karma. Not Gabrielle getting eaten up in the comments, but I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Gabrielle is getting hit by karma or do you think that she doesn't deserve this mess at all? Also, do you guys think that she's really going to leave Dwayne or do you think that she's going to end up taking him back? Drop your thoughts in the comments and then check out this next video.